Look around you. I already know what you're seeing. You're seeing shadows and light. These two things are the most important when it comes to understanding filmmaking. And it took me way too long to understand this. Let's go through this in three steps. And then I'm gonna show you why you don't need to use artificial lighting to be able to solve the mystery of cinematic filmmaking. Luckily, our world is full of lights and shadows. And number one is about taking advantage of them. As a rule of thumb, you can think that wherever you see a shadow, on that side you should have your camera. So if you're filming an interview or you're filming some scene, you're filming whatever really, just think that you will stay on the side where the shadow is. If your camera is on the side of the shadow, you will create more depth in your picture. We're always going for more depth. And the more layers you'll have of that shadow, the better. Number two is make it look natural. If you're using artificial lights, make sure that light is coming from the same side as whatever light source you're kind of faking. If you have your subject standing next to a window, make sure that the light source is coming from the window too, just because this will make more sense. Number two is don't be afraid of underexposing your subject. If there is shadow on the side you're filming from, and if this makes sense in your shot, like if this would be how it looked in a normal situation, then let that shadow be. You don't even need to have all that much information in the shot if this just makes sense with the surroundings. Make sure you expose correctly and expose in a natural way. Number three, don't overdo it unless you want to. I recently got a comment asking, why are all your shots so dark? Why are they so dramatic? Why are they so moody? This is a style that I actually really like, so it's been on purpose. But it is important to notice that you don't need to have it as dramatic, you don't need to have it as moody to create those shadows. So in this shot, for instance, I still have shadow on this side of my face, but it's not as much as in some of my previous videos. So just remember that you don't need to create as much of shadow as you might think. It's enough to have some of it to create that depth. And on that point, it's important to notice that shadows don't necessarily need to be real shadows, but it needs to be darker spots in your frame. So if you look at this shot here, I have my MacBook here, which is dark, and you have some of the frame here, framing back here, being black which kind of creates this feeling of shadows. It creates contrasts, which is what the shadows actually create. I did tell you that I would talk about why you don't always need to use artificial lighting. Because understanding filmmaking is all about taking advantage of the shadows, sometimes it's enough to take advantage of the light that's already there. Maybe it comes from a window, maybe it comes from other practical lights. The only downside to practical lights could be that they're in the wrong color tone. But if you feel like it looks good enough, then it is good enough. Just look at these shots that I shot in our old apartment. I didn't use any artificial lighting at all. I just used the lights that were in the apartment. And yes, they could probably have been better. If I was shooting a Netflix movie, I probably would have done more to it. But they do work. And I do feel like they look pretty cinematic. So to sum it all up, make sure you have contrasts in your shots because it will create depth. Make sure you follow the shadows. Make sure you angle your shots the right way because that will make or break your videos. And don't always think that you have to use artificial lights.